by thanking uh, you for all being here. I mean, we have three of the President's Cabinet Secretaries here. I mean, this is important. It's really important for us on a bipartisan basis, a bicameral basis, to make sure TPA gets across the finish line so we can get TPP and TTIP, Asia, and these European deals done, because it is so important to get these done to help create a healthier economy. And whether it's selling American products or services or exports or direct foreign investment, it all leads into more jobs and higher wages. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, here in America, we have a lot of intellectual property intensive industries. I mean, it is part of our DNA. It is part of who we are. It is part of our headquartered operation. And so many jobs are a part of this. And I think it's key to our economy, whether it's the life sciences area or med tech or bio biopharmaceuticals, strengthening protections for American innovation is absolutely critical. So maybe, um, Mr. Uh, Ms. Pritzker, if I can ask you a quick question. Um, ensuring 12 years, for example, of biological data protection in the Trans-Pacific Partnership, that'll help foster more investment in and access to new life-saving technologies and therapies. Will TPA help strengthen the hand of our negotiators, our U.S. negotiators, who are working to achieve 12 years of data protection in this agreement? I believe that this that TPA gives our negotiators greater leverage. You know, the challenge in addressing the issue uh, with biologics is the fact that our TPP partners have a broad range of um, approaches to regulatory data protection for biologics, and so I think this does strengthen our hand because it it it, it demonstrates that this is a very high priority for our country. And, you know, if you step back and think about where is the United States economy and the United States is shining in terms of innovation, whether it's biologics, whether it's in the digital economy, and, and these agreements, I mean, the TPA and ultimately the agreements, the trade agreements that can be passed, will allow us, protect our businesses, which today are vulnerable because we don't have these kinds of protections in place. Protect them in around the world, and that's extremely important. And we have to remember, we're, our economy is very open. I mean, you can access, a, with an average tariff of 1.4 percent, the United States market. But a, our access to markets in Asia are very limited. And if you do have access, you're vulnerable in terms of intellectual property protection. You know, you mentioned digital trade and the digital economy. There's been a lot of talk about using the negotiations with the Europeans to encourage more transparency in that regulatory process, greater transatlantic cooperation in developing new standards, mutual recognition where appropriate, and an increased reliance on international standards where appropriate. And these steps would result in more predictability and lower compliance costs while not reducing our standards, which is really important. So as a practical matter, how will you tackle these issues in these negotiations, or how do you plan to achieve the new negotiating objectives on this issue within TPA itself? Well, the digital economy, the fact that, look, we have to remember if you're talking about the digital economy, as I said earlier, you know, in 2002, half the companies that were trying to create uh, uh, sta standards that would address their uh, businesses didn't even exist. So it's very important, again, that what we do is, uh, 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 you know, facilitate e-commerce, that we support and recognize the significance of, of the digital economy and the internet as a platform for international trade. So all of these uh, requirements in TPA create a uh, floor, if you will, for the negotiation. As, as Secretary Liu said, by putting out the 150 objectives, that creates a floor that becomes very, uh, that, that's transparent, frankly, to the other countries that are participating in the negotiation, whether it's in intellectual property protection, the digital economy, labor, environment, et cetera. And so it's, I think, extremely important and valuable from a negotiator's standpoint that they know that the administration and Congress stand side by side on, what, on the uh, floor that is created by TPA. Thank you, Madam Secretary. I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Thompson is recognized. 